you did all your spring cleaning and now you want to move on to your cars and get those cleaned out but you're not quite sure where to get started and you're not sure if you got everything you need well this video is for you there are three big things that you're going to want you're going to want a vacuum of some sort this is just what we have if you're looking to get something we've got armor all product linked below that has amazing reviews speaking of armor all i love using this protectant to wipe off all the dust and surfaces they're moist so they're able to clean a lot of surfaces and get some of that grime off and lastly some q-tips are going to be to get some of those hard to reach areas all right so let's get a quick before video all right we got uh, pretty dusty up there center console not too bad passenger side pretty messy side doors back's not too bad side doors we got a lot of junk in the side doors back here some more garbage and junk a book some shoes Let's check out the trunk oh something that doesn't need to get thrown away right there Not too bad, not too bad, just some big stuff. Just some big stuff. There's a before. First thing we're gonna do is get out all the big stuff out of this car that we're not gonna be throwing away. All right, we got all of our big stuff here that we're not gonna throw away. Let's take a look and see what we found. Got a laptop case, couple books, couple pairs of shoes, package, high noon t-shirt, a bag of bags, the Aldi bag Emily was looking for earlier today, a couple jackets, a wallet, sunglasses, my sunglasses I've been looking for, buried deep in Emily's car, a few shades, and some golf clubs. Now you're going to want to grab either a garbage can or a garbage bag and start grabbing that garbage out of the car before we vacuum see how much we got i think i'm going to need a bigger bag All right, we got one bag of garbage, not gonna lie, I was expecting a little bit more, but I think after getting out all the stuff that we weren't gonna throw away, really cut down. Now we're gonna take out all of our rugs, rugs, accessories. We're gonna vacuum, vacuum the inside, move the seats all the way forward, vacuum behind the seats, uh, and then after vacuuming, because we're getting all everything all dusty, a little bit more dusty, uh, then we're going to wipe everything down and we'll be pretty close to wrapping things up. Let's get all these rugs out of here. Rugs. I don't know. Are they called rugs? What are they called? But they're dirty and some of them have stains on them. So I got a little resourceful here. A little tip and a trick here. Since it's sun finally came out, I'm going to use some, some environmentally safe soap and the scrubber I got from Emily to try to get some of these coffee stains. I know they're coffee, because I think I spilled it, because I'm sometimes not careful enough. So I'm gonna do that first, clean these off, vacuum and clean these, so they can dry in the sun while I do it inside of the car. While I, while I vacuum the inside of the car. Clean, 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 clean. There's popcorn, who put popcorn in here? Gross. A little shake, extension cord, vacuum. I'm gonna try using this piece right here.
All right, these look way better now. Passenger front, that one had a decent amount of dirt in it. Uh, driver's side, that thing was disgusting, but it looks way better and a lot closer to these other ones. So we're just gonna let this sit in the sun and the wind, dry out and start vacuuming the inside of our car. Almost forgot about the trunk. We're definitely gonna wash that. It's got some, it's got some spots here that don't look very nice. So as tired as my arm is already, this does need a little wash. It's got that rug in there, but it keeps this nice and clean. So all I really gotta do is vacuum this out. Um, we did have to put a spare, no, that looks good. So it looks like I just have to put Emily's jack away, but uh, otherwise, trunk looks good. Golf ball. <laughs> so let's do this uh, rug here that Lincoln has provided with us. All right, since we're here, we're gonna vacuum out the trunk first. Oh, there we go, looks better than before. Let's move to the back seat. Don't forget to move the seats all the way forward. Because you might find something you didn't see before. Like this. It's pretty big. I can't believe I missed that. Oh, here's a penny. Add that to the stack. Oh, geez, look at those. Happy Easter. Oh, it's got a fruity. That right there. That's why I move the seats forward. Oh, shoot, actually through the penny. Wait, wait, I think I can still reach it. Mm, yep. All right, now that we're done with the back, let's move these seats back and vacuum the front. Oh, I don't get paid enough to do this. Oh. Yeah, just give me a second. It's outside. There's no such thing here in the Northland. Where'd it go? I don't know. It was black with like white speckles all over it. Yeah. It was like, and there's crawling up over there. Well, let me know if you see it again. Oh God, it's right there. It's on that chair. You see that thing? It jumps. Be careful. There, got it. You did? Yeah. Crawling? Yeah. Gone? Yes, it's gone. I'll flush it down the toilet. Just so you know, it was one third the size that you said it was. Yeah. You said it was like bigger than a freaking quarter. That was like a. That was the size of a dime. Dime. I can't help you there, babe. Ooh, the water tastes good. Beer would be nice too. Is I filming that whole time? Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. All right, we're going back. Here we go. Now we can see what we're working with up here. A lot of sand. Yeah, just a lot of sand from the winter time.
Whew. So we're done vacuuming. Now we're gonna get to the detail work, which I don't know if I got enough energy for, but uh, keep on pushing. Keep on pushing. I'm quickly just gonna see what I can pick up. Go around here first. Too quickly again. Whew. This is when you grab your armor all and you start uh, wiping things down. Important thing is when you're doing the dash and different things is you, if you're cleaning your car for your wife, which all you men should do out there if you're uh, married, is uh, you may accidentally turn their lights on. So double check when you're done cleaning that you have them set to automatic or off. Otherwise you will be chasing her down to jump starter or walking her through jump starting her own car. Fun fact. Expert tip right there. Expert tip. Work top down. Work top down. I was like, why can't I reach all the way up here? It's like, oh yeah, the seat's all the way back. As it gets dirty, you'll be able to start to see some lines. Just grab another, grab another rag. That one's not too bad, but kind of lost its moisture. It's not picking stuff up like it was. Just grab another one. You got some spills or anything too. These will take that off, shine things up nice. Watch Emily try to get in her car and drive away now. I feel like this does come out. It's just very much so cemented in there. There we go. We'll be able to clean these in a sink. And these are already pretty nice and clean, so cool. My first goal with the big rag going through, going through these is just to get a lot of the dust. And then I'll come through with those Q-tips and finish everything off. Get a lot of the dust and grime. Gross. I don't like that one anymore. Grab another one. See, so turn the lights on. Make sure you turn them off. And then the most underestimated places inside the door well. Whew, sweat. Oh yeah, if you can get those clean right here, that makes such a huge difference. Somebody gets in another car. Oh my god. Right here guys, this is the elite. This is really going to make a huge difference. Somebody gets in another car. Get the Lincoln cleaned off right here. This isn't going to be clean for very long because we usually end up on gravel roads, but the first time Emily hops in this thing, she's going to be like, I don't know what it is, but it's really clean. Right, we'll give you guys a different angle here. We'll start working on the inside of this door. Oh yeah, right there. See how that cleans up so nice? Yeah, that looks better. There's a lot of grime in this one. And I usually try to get a wet one so that I can really soak things up and get it clean. It's looking way better. All right, let's go do the other door. All right, let's go check and see if our rugs are dry. All right, we're getting there. Hoping they'll dry out in the sun today. All right, so after you've gone through everything once, now it's time to grab your Q-tips. Try to get some of the corners and crevices that you couldn't reach. Like that, look at that, disgusting. And before you use it, I like to get it a little moist. Just helps it grab onto stuff. 
bad spot right there. Gross. All right, now we got some more of the nooks and crannies taken care of. I'm gonna go inside and clean out Emily's cup holder. I'm gonna get some Windex and do all the windows. All right, I got Emily's little cup holder nice and clean. So we're gonna put that back in here. Oh, it falls in there. She's gonna be super impressed by that. Oh, and now I got some Windex. I noticed I got some streaks on a couple of the surfaces here. Oops, I want to get rid of them. Streakless. Oh yeah, there we go. And some of these other like glossy surfaces too. I feel like I got to That Protect has a little bit of a layer that goes on everything to protect it. A little bit of a glossy. So if you don't like that, then don't get the Protect, get the regular cleaner. I don't mind it, especially on my Cobalt, because everything's black, it makes it look super nice. And we should be able to see her gauges a lot easier. And the inside of her windows are just terrible. Probably be better if I did the outside of the window first, because right now they are really bad too. But I got some different stuff for the outside. I got cleaner and rain repellent. I'm going to do a how-to on that. If you guys want to check it out <laughs> after that ride you went on right there. Link is in the upper right. I just got to get that corner over there. And then I think we'll be all right. Do I want to attempt to do, do that inside? Oh, I gotta, I gotta try it, but I'm time lapsing it. So you made it this far in the video. That means you're dedicated, so you might as well click that subscribe button. All right, now because I want to see how well I did these windows on the inside, I've got this two-in-one Rain-X glass cleaner and rain repellent. So I'm gonna give this a shot. Windex with vinegar on the inside and then the Rain-X 2-in-1 clean and rain repellent on the outside. We do need to wait for that rain repellent to sit for an hour before we throw water at this to see how it looks like. Let's go take a look at the inside to see the end result. We are waiting for our mats to dry. They're about, they're super close, but let's take a look. Check things out in here. Oh yeah, nice and clean. Nice and clean. Emily's going to like this. It smells like vinegar, though. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Windows are nice and clean, too. There you go, Emily. There you go. Now you can drive around. Now you can do mine. Now, now you can do mine. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> Thanks for watching this week's episode of The Roy Garage. We mainly do restoring, rebuilding, and repairing. So this isn't our typical video, uh, but I will link a playlist to the dodgeball on the upper left. It's our most recent project we're working on. It's a cab swap, a 48 Dodge Grain Shark cab onto a modern Dodge chassis. Thanks for watching.